Hey y'all, what's up? Um, so, I've been getting into the fine structure constant lately. Um, and let's read this quote really quick by Richard Feynman to sort of set up what I've just discovered about an hour ago. The most profound and beautiful question associated with the observed coupling constant E, the amplitude for a real electron to emit or absorb a real photon. It is a simple number that has been experimentally determined to be close to 0 0.0854. Um, my physicist friends won't recognize this number because they're likely to remember it as the inverse of its square, about 137.035. Um, it has been a mystery ever since it was discovered more than 50 years ago, and all good theoretical physicists put this number on their wall and worry about it. Immediately you would like to know where this number for a coupling comes from. Is it related to pi? Or perhaps to the base of natural logarithms? Nobody knows. It's one of the greatest damn mysteries in physics. A magic number that comes to us with no understanding by man. You might say the hand of God wrote that number and we don't know how he pushed the pencil. We know what kind of a dance to do experimentally to measure this number very accurately, but we don't know what kind of dance to do on the computer to make this number come out without putting it in secretly. Richard Feynman, one of the most famous physicists of all time, um, but here's what I want to contribute to in the realm of thought um, in this freaking universe because I'm an Aquarius and like to discover new things and see what's going on. Is it related to pi? So what did I just find and post on Instagram? Um, this beautiful equation that I just found. So obviously God is yud Hey vav Hey, which is Yahweh, Adonai, but look at it as a mathematical, um, I don't know, equation. Instead of hey, put pi, because it looks like pi. And then instead of vav, put seven. And yud looks like a seven, but to as an exponent. So what is this formula? It says pi seven pi to the seventh power. So what are we supposed to do with that? Well, divide it. Pi times seven divided by pi to the seventh power. What do you get? 0 0.00728. The fine structure constant. Where'd it go? At the very beginning of Wikipedia, 0 0.00729. So close to the fine structure constant. And then just switch it. Do pi to the seventh power over pi times seven. You get 137, which is the inverse of alpha. So when Richard Feynman says, is alpha connected to pi? Yes, it is. When you use the number seven, using multiplication and division. So, and what is seven in the Bible? Well, it just happens to represent the baptism, the cleansing, God's number, um, 144. You know, seven times seven is 144, and there's 144,000 elect of light. So seven and pi give us light. And so now we know how pi is connected to the fine structure constant. Okay? And, and far, all Feynman had to do was pick up a Bible. But no, the Bible is wrong in fairy tales and anti-scientific, right? Wrong. That's part of the deception. It hides more about reality than some of these science books, okay? So anyway, to answer Feynman, does Alpha have anything to do with Pi? Yes. Yes, it does. And it's in God's name, Yahweh, in the Bible.